take a look at this linear equation, 2x plus 3y equals negative 9. Now, what I want us to do here is I want us to find the intercepts, then I want us to graph according to the intercepts. So this is something where if this were on a, a test or a quiz, I would have the x-intercept and the y-intercept already written out, and you just have to tell me what they are. So we know for the x-intercept, what? What do we know about the x-intercept? Y is 0. What do you know about the y-intercept? You already have half the coordinate, or half of the ordered pair. Okay. If y is 0, this is what you're doing. Cover this guy up. And I see that 2y equals negative 9, so that means that x equals what? Excuse me, 2x equals negative 9. So what is x? It's what? If I divide this by 2, what do I get? I get negative 9 halves. For the y-intercept, what do you know? So if x is 0, that means this guy is gone. 2 times 0 is 0. And I see that 3y equals negative 9, which means y equals what? Negative 3. What is the minimum number of points to uniquely determine a line? Two. Now, when we were doing t-tables, I actually made you do three. Why did I make you do a third one? <coughs> what? To, to, to check it. Yeah. Make sure that things were actually forming a line. Where do the x-intercepts go? X. On the x-axis, right? How am I going to plot negative nine halves zero? What's another way of saying negative 9 halves? 4.5. Right, this is a negative, say negative 4.5. You could also say negative 4.5 if you want to go for the mixed number. So it's negative 4.5, 0. What about your y-intercept? Where does every y-intercept go? On the y-axis, and don't you forget it. So 0, negative 3 going to be right there. Is this enough for me to draw my line? Right. Yes. Now what could also be helpful to us is to solve this guy for y so I can identify myself. I can get more points rather easily. So if I take this guy right here, 2x plus 3y equals negative 9. How do I solve this for y so I can identify my slope? So I'm going to subtract 2x to the other side, and then do what? Divide everything by 3. So y equals what? y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 3. Now if we remember what we talked about with the slope-intercept form, what does this constant here, this negative 3, what does he connect to? No. It's the B, so that's the y-intercept. See this guy right here? Is, your, is part of your y-intercept. What's my slope? My slope is the coefficient of x, which is negative 2 thirds. Now you can see that from this point to the next point, my line's going down, right? Yes. So it matches up with me having a negative slope. So. If I use the slope of negative 2 thirds from this point, go down 2 over 3. Down 2 and over 3, and I can keep doing this. I get a bunch of nice points. What if I reverse this? Up 2. Up 2 to the left 3. Up 2 to the left 3. How come I skip this point right here? That ends up being a midpoint between these two nice points that we got here, right? Up two to the left three. You see here that the ordered pairs, they're not integer values for the coordinates. But that's okay. Now let's connect these dots, connect these points. 
Make sure the one I have forms a line. Oops. And then of course, connect these dots. Put the arrows at the end of the line. What do you guys think about that? How do you know if what you have here is right? See what your neighbor has? What do you do? Plug, it in. Plug what in? Points. Find the coordinates of some of these other points here. Like, what are the coordinates for this point? I've got three, negative five. Now, what should happen is I could plug it in here, and it should work out. So if I do two times three plus three times negative five, let's see what I get. What is this? Six minus 15, what does that equal? So it checks out, right? I could even pick, say, this coordinate, uh, these coordinates right here, this point. This is x is negative 3, and my y is what? Negative 1? So that means if I do 2 times negative 3 plus 3 times negative 1, I should get negative 9. That gives me negative 6 minus 3, and altogether is negative 9. So I was able to pick two ordered pairs, two points. There were not my intercepts, so I could check them against the original. So I know that what I have is right. So even though I'm going to show you the picture, you already knew that I was right. I'm sorry, that we were right. We're in this together, right? Like a family. You know, we are a family. I've got all my sisters and me. 